AI, where the U.S. currently has a lead, but the lead is quite slim. I think many experts say the U.S. is at this point maybe six months, eight months ahead of China in a geopolitical race. And we have now reached a point in our the, in the nature of the global innovation system uh, where it is no longer possible to plug leaks, build walls. We can't just say, okay, we don't want the Chinese to know this. We're going to build walls around this. We can prevent knowledge flowing to China, et cetera. Now we, we can put all kinds of restrictions in place, but nothing is going to work right now. There is too much interconnection, too many people talking to too many people. We can't stop that. Uh, so the only way the U.S. is going to continue to lead is by being faster. Even a small negative effect uh, could cause this six-month gap to disappear. Everything is very finely balanced right now. So very small changes uh, can have very big effect. I think it's important to take into perspective the stage of development of technology. So AI is relatively early, so we don't know. There's too much uncertainty behind. We don't know what's gonna be the prevailing business model. It's risky not be investing actively in building the R&D capabilities instead of trying to avoid knowledge leakage. The only way forward, and I completely agree, is by building strong R&D capabilities and keep developing. Otherwise, the US would lose its leadership.